Las Vegas gambles with their housing market and loses. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to um, package today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and glasses. We're about to blow the lid off yet another hot topic, swirling, threatening the U.S. housing market. Many areas overheated in spectacular fashion people wanted to tell you this time was different people wanted to tell you interest rates were low the realities are this friends it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this one out what goes up must come down in las vegas you're about to experience a massive i mean a massive downturn you know it's funny because this has all happened before history always repeats itself somehow the industry had short-term memory loss it was just in 2008, we saw these areas do this. And what happened this time? It got more euphoric, a casino climate. And that's why today's property we're going to visit is very fitting. Casinos all over Las Vegas, they, they have a very much a casino climate there. Investors poured into Las Vegas. They're still out there building homes as far as the eye can see. And they're about to go belly up. There's no more people willing to buy and it's very simple why. It's very simple why. We're going to look at a property today just to drive our point home. But more importantly, educate ourselves. Understanding why it's broken and what you can do with your own local housing market by examining properties if and when you're ready to know if you're in trouble or not. Chances are you're in trouble, my friends. Many areas are in trouble. Now, we have taken a look at properties around the nation that make sense to buy. But there's just many areas that don't make sense to buy. And I hate to say it, Las Vegas. I hate to say it. But listen, man, I'm not here to sugarcoat it. We got to acknowledge the elephant in the room. You overheated your, your housing market. And I really feel bad because, like I said, the amount of investor involvement, involvement the casino climate, the drinking of the stimulus Kool-Aid, never seen before. People that should know better that are smart enough to know better. Greed just got greedy. I mean, there's just really no other way to to, to describe this, this market that we found ourselves in. Greed took over the markets. We broke all the wrong records and it was all juiced on helicopter money sprinkled all over the nation. And now the two-headed monster, runaway inflation and a risen interest rate environment is about to squash the biggest asset class in the world, the U.S. housing market. So let's go ahead and jump over to today's featured property. Then we'll meet back here and wrap it up. Let's get started. All right, buckle up and strap in. Roll up your windows, lock your doors. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Lost wages, Sin City, the city that never sleeps. And boy, are they in for some pain. Let's go ahead and bring up today's crash map, courtesy of our friends, over at Zillow, everything on our screen is going through price reductions. Now let's take a look at today's featured property. And here we go. Occupied, not showing well, clutter, a big issue anytime we're trying to show a home. If it shows like this, if it shows like this, there's one thing that has to occur. It has to be priced right. It has to be priced aggressively. Let's jump into the numbers and see what we're doing with this property. Uh-oh, our first red flag, 135 days on the market with only 243 views and two saves. I don't even know who our two people are that saved this, but this is a massive red flag, a warning sign if you have a listing and it's showing this type of days on market and this little interest. Let's dig a little deeper. Here we go, strike one. Our mid-range value range is $324,000 in a declining market, which is exactly where they've priced this property. It needs to be at the lower end, possibly below its lower end value of 308,000. In fact, my guess, if this was my listing, I'd be pricing it with a two in front of the number. Let's keep digging. Uh-oh, here we go, strike two. We are chasing the market, already going through price reductions, but unwilling to give it the price reduction needed to get sold. Last but not least, let's examine one last metric that will really make things crystal clear.
where they currently sit on the market, your estimated payment would be approximately $2,100 a month. Now let's see what the property's estimated rent range is. Uh-oh, drop the phone, step away from the slot machine. This thing wouldn't even rent out close for what your payment would be, meaning they have many price reductions coming, which is an example of why, Las Vegas, you are in big trouble. Until these two numbers get much closer, no one's gonna be buying in this area. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. Friends, welcome back. So there you go, Las Vegas, you're in so much trouble. And if you wanna know anybody watching today, and if you're new, please subscribe, subscribe right away, right yesterday. There's never been a more important time in human history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will sharpen iron. We're going to continue to sharpen some iron. But if you want to know if your house is safe or not, if you want to know if there's buying opportunity in your neighborhood, all you have to do is examine cost to own even at today's interest rate. What would the property rent for? If it costs you less to own the house than it would to rent it, that's a, a, a property that I might test with an offer. The property we looked at today costs way more to own, and who would want to own that thing anyway? Like me? I No. It would have to pencil out where my cost to own, it cash flows, and then maybe I buy that property as an investment property, as a rental. I mean, I don't even know who wants to live there. Who? Do you live in Las Vegas because you want to in that neighborhood or because you have to? Probably because you have to. So who's going to rent that house? The blue-collar sector. The blue-collar wage earner. The casino worker. Bad. It's bad stuff. You know, Las Vegas, you're in so much trouble for so many reasons. I mean, that Sin City, the city it never sleeps. It's just got this ugly underbelly. It's just not a good area. Now, there's some areas if you're retired and, and you know, right off into the sunset house, maybe that's a good place. I have a friend that lives there very nicely. And he's not, and he's not in that neighborhood. He's off in some multi-million dollar, sprawling, desert, oasis. That was not this property. And rental properties will never be that property. Because you got to earn your wealth now right off in the sunset later. That's what my friend did who lives there. Whew. Insane the stuff that we continue to unpackage. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Today we examined a property that would cost you more to own than to rent. And that's going to keep... That, ho that housing market broken in two, until those two numbers start to line up and start to tilt in the favor of being cheaper to own than to rent. Nobody in their right mind would buy there. The only people that will buy in that climate will be a sucker's rally, in my opinion. Somebody just doesn't know any better. An agent maybe gets a hold of them and FOMOs them in because they made their mind up to buy. Like you've always heard me say, I know once people make up their mind to buy, they're buying. First time home buyer doesn't know anything. People should have known better. Las Vegas has a lot of pain. Contagion will probably spread with this one and reach into other markets. Our digital diet today has this housing market in a stranglehold. I believe Contagion will just sweep these markets. It'll be fear and panic. And there's only going to be a select few of us that are going to do like we did today. Look at properties. What, is it cheaper to own to rent? Can it cash flow? Maybe I throw them an offer. It's going to be an awesome time to be an, an investor. But most investors, the institutional investors, are going to be in worse shape than anybody else out there. So I wouldn't worry about investors coming in and buying up all of it sure there might be a couple savvy warm buffets in the world that are ready to strike but they're not going to be able to buy it up all of it because it purely it clearly looks like we're headed for another down My job is to educate people so they understand how to buy in this climate and to avoid those big mistakes a small mistakes i can live with but i don't want to see anybody make any big mistakes gamble with their financial future this city gambled with their financial future and, and they're, they're about, about to pay the piper if you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.